ladies, I'm Tanya Cortez and welcome to the Foundation Channel. On this channel, I talk about everything foundation and complexion for more mature skin. So listen guys, I could not wait to try this foundation, okay? So I wasn't even gonna do a video because I'm, it's been out for a month. So I wasn't gonna do a video, but I just had to because I wanted to see it. Y'all ain't never seen it on this texture. So um, this is what she looks like. And I so can't wait to try her. So if you guys wanna see what this foundation looks like and whether it works well on textured mature skin, then you stay tuned. Roll the credits. Don't you worry, don't you cry. Don't you cry. I can promise it gets better Keep your Hey guys, so let's get started. We are looking, well wait, before I even go there, so I wanted to wear this foundation today and I wasn't going to do this video. The reason why is because I think this has been out now for like a month. And I know that everybody has seen this foundation already a million times. So I didn't know how much you guys wanted to see it. But I figured, hey, you ain't never seen it on this texture. So I'm going to go ahead and try this foundation today. And I'm going to give you her, her vitals. And we're going to do the first part of this um, video really, really quickly because I have somewhere to go. Please disregard um, my dryer and my little table back there. I just cut and colored my hair. It's soaking wet. I'm going to curl it um, later. So, all right. So, let me give you guys her vitals, okay? And don't, and disregard the hands. They're ashy, but ashy is a sign of cleanliness. So, I'm clean. We are going to be looking at this Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfection Foundation. All right, now she's a she's a big girl. She's a big girl. She's forty eight dollars. Her vitals are serious, okay? <laughs> so she's forty eight dollars, um, and she has uh, thirty shades. Okay, so the shade I chose was five in one cinnamon. Yes, five in one cinnamon, and this is what she looks like. Now let me give you a couple of her little highlights. She is a liquid formula, waterproof, natural finish long wearing, she's medium coverage, and she is a weightless foundation that blurs the line between makeup and skin with a medium, medium buildable coverage, up to 12 hours of fade proof wear. And I'm gonna put this foundation to the test today because I'm gonna be out a long time today. Um, and this is a natural finish. And it doesn't say who they feel like it's made for. So it doesn't say, normally it says combination, oily, whatever. And it doesn't say that according to Sephora, unless I'm missing it, but I don't see it. So nevertheless, we are going to go ahead and try this. I love the bottle. It's glass. It looks pretty chic, right? Pretty bougie. Um, so let's use this with a brush today. Right. So what I did today is I'm trying a new primer. Um, in a certain part of my face. So this is the the Calray Blur, um, it says Clean Blurring Primer with collagen peptides. All right, and this is called So Blown. So I put this right here so I could try this um, primer and then I just put a regular primer and when I put it here and a, a regular primer on the other parts of my face just to see how this is. And now the primer itself is really smooth. It doesn't feel like it didn't turn white. Um, it doesn't feel, you know, like really, really dry or anything like that. So we're gonna see how that wears. And then I just use the regular hourglass primer around the perimeter. All right, y'all, so I'm excited. Let's go, let's go. Oh, these are really short pumps, look at this. Those are really, really short pumps. So I just pumped three little pumps on here to see. Now I have a large face, okay? Hopefully this is gonna be enough, but if not, we'll go ahead and try some more. So let's go ahead and check this shade and see how this, ooh, let's see how this cinnamon looks. It says it's neutral undertones. And this feels really good. It feels real ceramic, like real ceramic. So let's go ahead and try this. I can tell that it feels like it's gonna look like skin, but let's just see, all right? So let's just blend this in. This is blending out really nice. 
really, really nice. Now I have darkness around here on my face. And so I didn't put any kind of color corrector or anything on. I just wanted to see how this was gonna cover. Oh, this really is blending really nicely. And look at that finish. It looks good so far. The, guys, the shade, did I get it? I think I got it. Did I get the right shade? Oh, girls. And I got this online. And I, listen, okay. So that's this part. Let me add just a little bit more. I just added some more on the brush though. So let's just try um, and get some more on. If you've never been to my channel, I have combination of oily skin, lots of texture, lots of large moles, um, fine lines, wrinkles, very mature skin, and very large pores. All right, so this is what this side looks like compared to this side. How pretty is that? Oh, I can't wait to see how this wears. All right. Because, you know, everything is pretty in the beginning. So let's... Uh, I'm gonna put three, I did three little more of these little short pumps on this side and let's see. All right, so this is what it is. You know what, this primer is really blurring. All right, my little texture patch looks pretty good right now. What y'all think? I like this. And that's just a little, little bit, so it has a nice shine to it, but I don't know if that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> you know, it doesn't feel oily, but it has a, like, I don't know, like a oily, not, it's not oily. I don't know the lack of, I'm running, I don't know what word to use for it, but it does feel very serum-y, but I'm wondering, is it gonna get oily looking? Cause right now it just looks really pretty, really, um, you know, makes your skin look really healthy, but it does look a little, little radiant, not dewy or anything like that. It, but it does look really, really nice. So I'm back. I did put some blush on today. Um, only cause I just want to kind of look halfway decent. And so this is what we're looking like so far. Y'all, this is pretty. This is pretty. I mean, this, well, let me just say this cause I don't know if it's the primer. The pores are blurred. And I can see it. Do y'all see it? <laughs> y'all know how I get when I like something. I think this is pretty. And I hope she wears like this. Like right now. So I'm going to be back in a little while. And then I'll be able to give you my thoughts and everything on this Laura Mercier foundation. All right, guys. See you in a little bit. All right, guys. So I am back. It is the end of the night. I wanted to hurry because I wanted to have this video up and edited by Saturday. Um, but this is what we look like. Um, so my eyeshadow held on y'all. I'm going to show y'all what I, um, and not, you know, look, I already told y'all I'm not the most eye, I'm not the most, uh, the eyeshadow-ish person, but I, I don't know if this is <laughs> I don't know if this is supposed to go on your eyelids as a base. I do use it under my eyes as a primer for my concealer. And I love this, but it's actually almost gone. But I use this on my <laughs> I use this on my eyelids. And then I just brushed it with like some setting powder before I put my eyeshadow on. I don't know if that's right. But it held on, look. <laughs> it was holding on. Alright, and see. Let me tell y'all what eyeshadows I used. I used this by Minted. It's the Every Night Eyeshadow Palette. And this is what it looks like. Y'all, I love Minted. <laughs> if y'all could go blow Minted up on their Instagram and tell them to please send me some bronzers and the new concealer and everything. This is what I got on my eyes and this and this palette. Them two. <laughs> please go tell them. And I tried this um, Calorie Primer right here, just on the balls where I had the most texture. And it really did a good job. And you know, it, it's been a long time. It's been like 10 hours now. 
with this. And I'm going to be honest, I think she held up really, really, really well. I mean, of course, I'm oily in here in my nose. And my texture patch looks good. I mean, this is with no touch up. I think, I think she did a good job. Laura did a good job with this one. If I just wipe off some of the foundation is still on. I love this. I love the finish of it. It has a nice natural finish. Doesn't look very luminous. Um, it feels very, very lightweight. It feels really good on your skin. Like it doesn't feel dry at all. It feels like a skincare. I don't think it accented it. Um, the foundation accent a lot on the texture. I'm always going to get a certain level of um, accentation. <laughs> Is that a word? I'm always going to get some sort of, you know, um, accent of the texture, you know, with foundations after a period of time, just because my skin is so heavily textured. So thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, it all starts with the base. You guys stay safe. Bye.